and then picked a few popular ones who were missed, like Chavazal. I really don't understand the decision. I mean, Xerneas is like super European, isn't he? Yeah. It's a fairy type deer based, based, on, based on the tree of life. I have a feeling I'm now going to, next time I have some free time, to do it. Look over all the Pokemon and... And make my own version of who I think would make logical sense in a European theme. I just take In all a UK them. theme. No, if you couldn't have all of them. Yeah. If you had to limit it to, say, half the decks. Yeah, but Sawbuck, yeah, is very Western. Yes. Or is he more, more North American than European? You know what I'm going to do? Oh, you're a rebel! <laughs> I don't want to have to go all the way around. You should have just left it locked. Just to be like that. No. Because then it would bother me that it wasn't switched. Well, I mean, there's no Go-Goat. Which also doesn't make much sense. They are rid of the elemental monkeys! Yeah! Oh my god. And they also got rid of... The Chimchar. So yeah, there's a, the only elemental monkey now is Grookey. He just he ate all the other ones. But again, apes aren't particularly common in the UK, other than humans. Yeah, but Japan loves monkeys, apparently. Yeah, but this is in the UK, not Japan. Yeah, well, Japan designed the list. They removed a lot of monkeys. There's no the, the elemental monkeys. There's no apom. There's no mankey. Is it good dra or goo dra? It's goo dra, but I like to say good dra just to be silly. So there's no goo dra either. There is. Oh. Goo dra made it. Okay, this just is the thing it. we're going to demonstrate. <laughs> the only helpful mimic in the history. Yeah, and it gets you right to the other side that we spent like half an hour trying to get over. Oh. Oh, you just see what would happen? I was trying once to I got, out Once I got caught by a mimic while I was upside down, it clipped me through the floor. It was a thin floor. He wants me to kick you. Here, have this fairy all heal. No Tropius. Well, of course there's no Tropius. Tropius is Africa. What? You can only get Tropius in Africa in oh, Pokemon yeah. Go. We have those Lucario, of course, but... Oh, god damn it! the ice cream is there! Well, I think ice cream is a, um... European invention. I hear it was... Um, a Greek invention. It might be, I don't know. Which is European, I suppose. And Greek and Roman things definitely appear... I don't heavily. remember, I've heard somewhere, though, that... Like, the oldest ice cream was like, the Greeks would mix honey with snow. I mean, that's possible. Although that's not really ice cream, that's more like a snow cone. Just... The Greeks liked honey, yes? Yeah. I mean, honey is made of magic. Uh, in, um... Egypt, um, because of the fact that honey was much more accessible than cane sugar. Um, they only really ate honey, and so you can still find their whole teeth because honey is too densely sugary to... For um, bacteria, they yeah, can for, handle it? Yeah. What were you excited about? Milotic is around. I understand why you didn't have haunch crow. There, was, there could be only one. Oh, one crow. Yeah. Why? There were 700 monkeys in the last game. Yeah, but that was before they started trimming everything down. Let's get out of I really do wonder what the DLC is going to be. 
the DLC you have to pay for. Yeah, because they make you pay to get the other Pokemon. That's you, they're gonna get some. They're gonna get cuts. Get some. People are gonna be mad at them. And I'm gonna give them a weird look. You already do give them a weird look. Yeah, I'm gonna give them another weird look though. I like get crushed by the gears. In this it game, takes so much damn damage though. Yeah, but it's also fun. Ouch! Damn damage. Yeah. Good Rod is now my official playing station. Yeah. I just like the way that I adore good. Gudra. I like Gudra a lot. Gudra I... and Dragonite. And, well, I do like Flygon a lot more now that I've kind of considered it one of the beanbag chair dragons. It's just the smallest one. Yeah, it's a small beanbag, beanbag chair. You can still hug it, you just can't sit on it, really. And you can't sit on Gudra without getting all sticky. But yeah, Gudra, I. It does have some aspects that bother me, but I do like it. I like it the core of its design. Just not some of the detail. Like its typing or the fact that the slime on it is green even though it itself is not. It could still excrete, excrete a like thin layer of transparent green goo. If it's purple enough, it wouldn't affect its color. Hmm. Maybe. Plus, it's adorable as fuck. Right, that is that. That's its core. It's gr a great. It's great. I do think it should be a fairy type though. Or a water type. Yeah, or a water type. Because you know one what, of the two. Because you know what goo is? It's water. Well, I mean. Maybe bug type, too. except they really only seem to consider chitinous creatures to be bugs. And they totally dropped the ball on making. Crabby a bug. No, the bug dragon. Yes, they did. Which is the biggest strike against Flygon. Yep. It's such a weird decision to base every single form off of a bug and not make it a bug type. Well, it was not a bug, it was a dirt! I mean, it Hell did funny. make sense the first form was ground. But why and was it a ground bug? And the fact that... Um, it's an ant lion! It's a freaking insect! Yeah, and the fact that, um... Ground Dragon is a really good typing combination, also. But then, but then, but now Garchomp just says, you don't exist, and he... Oh yeah, that's true, because Garchomp is also Ground Dragon. But he's better, he has better Except attack Except he doesn't have speed. Levitate. Right, but he's better attack speed, so he does, he generally, he's better at being Flygon than Flygon is. It, in, in everything except resisting earthquakes. Well, resisting all ground types, I thought. Well, yes, but Earthquake is the one is the important ground attack. The strongest one and the most widespread, and then did. Garchomp is in? Nope, but Flygon is. <laughs> I wonder if people are just complaining because they lose all of their meta characters then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, people say that, oh, they rebalanced their food, but they left, oh, that they left in Gengar, but they removed most of Gengar's big counters. Removed the, oh. Like, a lot of the Pokemon that in the meta really outed Gengar. Apparently in Let's Go, or in, oh. okay, in Pokemon Go, Gengar is atrocious. But no one really plays that game competitively, I figure. Oh, there's people who play it competitively. There's even a pretty serious competition in town. Oh yeah, and then let's go, they, town. they kept Stealth Rock, but they removed all the moves that could remove Stealth Rock. Every single one? I think so. Like, they were, I think they removed, like, Hades and Rapid Spin, or at least I know they removed a lot of the counters for Stealth Rock. But they kept Stealth Rock. That's disappointing. Hey, that's what Pokemon's about. It's about magical floating rocks that kill you. Stealth Rock is probably part of the reason I would never enjoy competitive Pokemon. Because it means that apparently, like certain other types of fighting game, there's one proper way to play, and there's no other way to enjoy the game. I don't, that's nothing to do with Stealth Rock, that's just the competitive spirit in general, and why I don't really play the TCG anymore. Upon realizing, like, that you have more worrying about trainers than Pokemon. Well, and the fact that, for instance, I want to make a water themed deck. Yeah, but you gotta have your Double Energy, your Zoroark GX, and your Tapu Lele GX, or your deck isn't optimal. 
Yeah, but Zoroark and Tapu Lele don't fit into my water deck theme, no? And Zoroark isn't even a water deck. Neither is Tapu Lele. I thought Tapu Lele That's Tapu Fee. Oh. So yeah, I just... <sighs> and no, you, you showed with the Rotom deck that you can make a deck that works perfectly fine with other things. I mean, sometimes. It's a very, I mean, I guess that's the nature of a TCG. Sometimes you just, it just won't, your deck just won't go. I was gonna say. I think that my Rotom motor deck is hit by that a bit harder. Yeah, because you have to get certain draws for it to even start working. Or, yeah, and you, you gotta count on your... Uh, Pokemon's a race to get set, well, under the Rotom deck, it's a really a race to set up before your opponent does. Otherwise, they're just going to destroy you while you just sit there and do nothing. And the TCG does have a lot of that. If you get a bad, dealt a bad hand, you just can't do anything. Which is why you see so many people forfeit on the online TCG. So they're like, well, I didn't get the cards I need. Might I as didn't... well just not even bother trying. Apparently, Guzma is no longer in the current rotation. Current rotation or current, like, ideal meta? The current rotation. You cannot use Guzma. When did that change? Well, just after so many, many packs were released. He was rotated out. Oh, yeah, but I thought he was still very current. I did too. Because he's still part of Sun and Moon. The, what current kind of is the last Sun and Moon set? I believe, yes. Or recently released. But keep in mind that the last one, you could still use pre-Sun and Moon Pokemon cards in the last... I don't Rome. know. I have no idea. That's just what the Game Shop boy told me. Do you doubt him? I don't like playing the game. Yeah. Oh, we've got... We have all the shortcuts. We are the video games. Yeah, now we just gotta find those other knights. It's so weird that Aaron actually seemed to kind of be having <coughs> fun while playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts. He got really weird of that. How? Just, again, he started, he, like, he, like, turned into a, a, like, a weird, like, 1800s poet. Is just, he seemed kind of relaxed, but he just, he got really rambling. He was extremely rambling. Hey, watch out for the gates. I wonder if that if our Silver Knight's actually getting stronger for Yes. Oh, cool. Does that mean you need to beat the game nine times? We'll play through the intro nine times to get a fully powered Vepar's tentacles? I do believe so. That's really dumb. That's really dumb. I don't approve. But keep in mind, once you beat the game the first time, you can blade we made it through basically the whole game in like an hour. Yeah, but it's not it's, it's not gonna be a fun, really enjoyable experience. No one's gonna to want to grind that that shard. I will totally do it. Really? I will totally do it. Okay. It's not even a, that good of a shard. No, it's not, but I will it's, still it's totally visually do it. impressive and that's it. Oh, also, now that it's on Switch, they can charge you more for the game. Which game? Uh, Sword and Shield. Oh, they can charge you 60 instead of... Like 40. Yeah, because... Like, remember X and Y... Buy X and Y, I'm thinking... Boy, this is really cheap for, like, a big Nintendo title. And then they changed their mind about letting you do that. Yeah, but hey, the Pokemon can get big now, so it's fine. Administrator. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, was like, I was just like, yeah, now you can, just now you can lay on the or... cool, comfy spikes. Without dying. I mean, we could have done it the whole time, we just never considered comb your, it. You should, like, comb your hair at the ceiling ones. Don't take it off. 
No egg run? It's apparently a really bad Pokemon anyway, as far as the meta is concerned. Really? Yeah, because of the fact that it's weak to fighting, the fact that he's very a... heavy, and, um... I mean, he's weak to low kick, fine. And weak to, um... Something else that makes Ground. him, like, really bad, plus he's not very fast. You know the good thing about rock types is? They can learn stealth rock. Although steel types resist stone. They resist rock, don't they? Yes, they do. Like they do most things. I like how there's this, this fancy mirror puzzle, and you're just like, nah. Well, it's not really a mirror puzzle. It's so well, there's a fancy a little mirror gauntlet. You get to watch the bouncy bounce happen. And by doing this, I'm not watching the bouncy bounce happen. So really, I'm missing out on enjoyment. Is what I'm doing. Oh, he's... what? Oh, oh, he poked you in the butt. But I jumped through and he's not here. Oh, this is the fake one, that's right. <laughs> this is the one where you get stabbed in the butt. Where is the other one? Is it the one over there by it's the warp? It's right below the warp point. It is by the warp point. The one that I didn't get. Alright, so I need to go... Wow! Wow! Yep, you can just rub him. Oh, apparently he drops more than the nose glasses. Oh, really? He dropped another chest for Vinny. What? Over there, it had mac and cheese in it. It's a very strange thing. I love inverting, because it just looks so dumb. What? Why are you being so mean to him? What are you doing? We already have the achievement. Yep, there you go. Yeah, mac do it for a certain length of time. To get macaroni. Why does he draw macaroni and cheese? Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so now. Aglon doesn't seem bad, he's in the underused tier. Yeah, in other words, not particularly great. Oh, wait. No, he was also in the PU tier. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say, Aggron for being a pseudo legendary is apparently. He's not pseudo legendary. Oh, he's not? He uses three forms. Aggron solidifies itself as one of the best wall breakers in PU. So he's one of the best of the worst. <laughs> Can you get that? Yeah, I know how shares it from this QB. Wow. Shoot your target. Okay. Apparently, has a presence in overuse, which doesn't make sense. Just this kind of language which is what turns me off from competitive. Mega Avalon Agon carves its niche overused as a reliable answer to non-focus punch Mega Mawai and ICMZ Q and Black on stall teams. That's kind of a specific niche, isn't it? Oh, when you hit him with physical, that's what triggers him? Uh, when you hit the <laughs> lever, I think, is what triggers him. Oh. And he's invincible, and he goes blah, 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 and then the yeah. cannons appear. So yeah, it does seem like that. Even so yeah, I guess the cannons weren't made specifically for his shard, because he himself uses them. I said, this switch. What? Oh, oh. that's right, it's the other, this one. <laughs> Hipsonda. Mine! Does that only happen the first time you beat him? No, anytime it hits 777. Oh, and then he just dies. 
Yeah. He's, he just, he's, no, he died because I happened to kill him. I mean, it was pretty kill himself when money happened. Oh, maybe. Ooh. Agron scares Firo. It is a really remarkable looking ability. The lightning? Yeah. Does it look like it spirals outward? No, I love that move. It's modern. Even if I don't get to use it very well. Be yeah. Just because there's always something better? Yeah. I like that this game makes using your spells like fun. The, yeah, it really encourages. It makes your spells so effective in this. Whereas it ain't like. Well, yeah, that's because in Symphony you mainly just had your weapons, that's right. But I'm glad it doesn't just make it so you really want to focus on your weapons. You can! But... <laughs> you just like putting your face on guys, don't you, to kill them. Yeah, it's silly. Yeah, I guess if you are legal in PU, that means you're PU, so... Rip Agron. Yeah, no, he's apparently, like, really bad. I don't prefer to say he's regularly bad. That's the bottom tier. Yes, but he's very good in this. Yeah, but one step above the worst is not regularly bad. Okay, yeah, starting 6th gen, he entered the never-used tier. Basically, he entered the PU tier as soon as a PU tier existed. Which is too bad because I really like his design. You do? I do. I didn't think you were into Especially those. like Aaron's design. I know. I thought you were into the tough designs. It's just a cool one. It's armored looking and stuff. It's nice. I like Mega Agra. He looks kind of like a battleship. Don't you think? I haven't seen it in a long time. Me neither. I keep playing these from the wrong sides again. Even though I have no reason to need to. But that's Magron. To me, it looks more like a. Oh, he looks a, like a lot more armored. He loses, he's he, mega. He loses his rock type. Which is sadly a good thing. <laughs> Alright, so we now have Max Silver Knight. Well, yeah, like, at least like half of the Pokemon are in the PU tier, which is very sad. Yeah, and goes to show that competitive makes everything boring. Oh my god! What? You know what? There is a tier worse than PU. What? Untiered. Who would that be? Arbok. Arbok is that bad? What's it say? Despite not suffering from competition as a coil user, having decent abilities and a nice loop rule, Arbok struggles to find its place. It's only average attack and speed and mediocre bulk. Make it a bad setup, Super. Give me a hard time setting up. And leave it easily revenge kill. And walled by metagame staples such as Ori Oricorio E and Jellicent. No poison's neutral to rock. Well is not weak against rock. Five Ghost! Five. Five. I love that fives show up during the ending. Oh yeah, because of the healing. Yeah. So yeah, instead of they introduce both the PU tier and untiered, where they just. which I guess just means there's no reason to use this ever.
<laughs> yeah, like Butterfree, I figure would be a tiered. Because it's a weak blood type. Yep. And Power Creep. Though I guess they get a buff. In 6th gen, I did, wasn't enough. I think Charizard is P. Yeah, because the flying type I think makes it really bad at some point. Well, he's fire, otherwise he's be fire good. flying. It's double weak against Stealth Rock. Freaking Stealth Rock. You gotta have Stealth Rock. Yeah, that's a huge thing against him. That's true. Oh no, he's P U B F. What's that mean? P U Borderline. Which means, I guess he's just on the edge of it. I don't know which edge, though, which bugs me. You mean it being almost good or almost bad? But Mega Charizard Y is overused? Both Mega Charizards are. That's weird. Well, sucks to be... Well, well I guess these are going to Gigantamax, which might make up for it, but... Does that mean that he's the um, Pokemon with the most forms at this point? Charizard? Yeah. Maybe Mewtwo had like Shadow Mewtwo as like armored Mewtwo. Yeah, but Shadow is only in XD. It's not in a main stream. Right. In the Mega, in the Megas aren't in Sword and Shield. Yeah, but they are in a mainline game. And actually, Shadow Mewtwo is only in Pokémon. Also, not a mainline game. I mean, XD's kind of, kind of game, but. And if that were the case, isn't there a Shadow Charizard in that as well? No, I don't think so. Oh, but you, you don't notice it either, huh? Well, I'm rushing when I'm doing this. That is so weird. Mega Charizard is super good, apparently. Yeah, well, the one Charizard loses Fly to become Dragon. -type. Yeah, but no, apparently they're both OU. Which is the second highest tier. I know Cloyster's real good. Yeah, because it has the highest defense of anything. In first gen. The only problem it has is it's ice type. Oh, it's rarely used. God, yeah, it's, a, it's defense is stupid. Physical defense, not Yeah, but it's special but... defense is its lowest stat. Yeah. And its HP is its second lowest. So actually, defensively, it's very over-specialized. Yes. And I guess its main thing is that it can use Rapid Spin. Oh, and Spikes, which is basically Ground-type Stealth Rock, but not quite as good. Yeah, Crabominal is another sign of... I love this. I love this good... Well, you're adapting him! What? Love Angry Miriam! 